newly released emails exposing collusion between the IRS and the Department of Justice. They're part of a trove belonging to Lois Lerner, which the IRS, remember, originally claimed were all missing. The emails talk about efforts to bring criminal charges against conservatives and Tea Party groups. So could this now be evidence of a cover-up by the Obama administration? Robert Wood is managing partner at Wood LLP and my guest today. Robert, great to have you on the show. Uh, I want to get to that. I want to get to that big question after I ask you this first. What has been revealed now is that Lois Lerner was communicating with the Department of Justice before the midterm elections in 2010, correct? That's right. And what do we make of that? Well, I think people, uh, some uh, groups, the administration and certainly uh, liberal organizations are saying that DOJ does this kind of thing all the time. There's nothing improper about it. I think we truly don't know the content of many of these communications. They're still being analyzed. Um, and I think there are two separate things. One is certainly the concern, as you just noted, that Lois Lerner and Department of Justice officials were talking about prosecuting conservative groups. Um, but also the notion that taxpayer private data has apparently been released between the IRS and the White House. We still don't know the details. I mean, these are little, literally things that are happening uh, this week. Um, and hopefully we'll, we'll get to the bottom or at least more to the bottom of this, yeah. of this scandal that should well, <laughs> make every American taxpayer worry. Yeah, and I was just going to ask you about that. Certainly the Department of Justice uh, not helping matters. Obviously the IRS not helping matters. They just simply say things disappear in thin air and they don't really seem to care that much about it. Uh, thank goodness for groups like Judicial Watch who have sued them repeatedly to try and get some of these documents. So you bring up the, the most important point here that every American, I don't care if they're independent, Democrat or Republican, why should they care so much about this? Yeah, I, I mean, it really, I have to say, and I, I know the Internet sometimes is not the most civilized place to communicate, but in, in the, the postings that I've done on Forbes.com on the IRS, and, and I have to stress, I'm just a, a practicing tax lawyer for 35 years doing this, and I've never seen... Um, a, I think a crisis in confidence in our tax system as great as it is now. Why should every American care? It's simply that we all send in private information, we all send in our financial data, we send the IRS money. You know, the, the tax system is still mostly self-assessed. We all do no it doubt. and audit rates are low. And, and the IRS has all of this data. We need to know that our political views are not going to influence whether we're audited right. and are not going to be uh, turned over to the executive branch well, of the government. So in the lead-in, before I introduced you, Robert, the question was raised, could this be evidence, finally, of some sort of a cover-up by the Obama administration? And to that, you would say what? I'd say it could be, yes. I want to be careful not to um, overstress uh, and, and sort of overreact to this. I mean, I find it appalling, but I think a lot of us found a sort of, and I hope every American, you know, liberal or conservative, found it troubling that the president in February on, on Fox said there's not a smidgen of corruption and so on in, in the IRS scandal. And right. the IRS is fine, there's nothing. and. There have been a lot of statements about liberal groups were targeted. I mean, we still don't know, but absolutely this should be investigated. No doubt. And, and uh, there are renewed calls for a special prosecutor. I, I know that's a politically sensitive issue, and there are lots of other problems in the country. But, I mean, our tax system is really key. We can't survive without it, yep. and it really has been undermined well, by all of this. And it's coming out in drips and drabs. More to come out later on this week. Robert Wood, thank you so much for your time today.